Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th video in this series of videos which will help you complete the Essential Skills Wales Level 2 ICT qualification. Now previously we've been working on the spreadsheet but have you been, if you have been following the videos through and completed all the tasks as the videos have shown, you will now have completed the spreadsheet section. So we're ready to move on to the second task of Activity 1 and that involves creating a presentation to actually present to the head of sixth form um, basically your findings and also to convince them why you want to change the actual common room or what you want to improve it. So in the shared area there are actually the presentations that I've created for these videos um, as examples for you to see. They are in PDF form mainly because in the past when we've done this people have just copied the presentations. However I'm going to talk you through why I've made my particular presentation and mine is slightly different um, as a slightly different briefing that mine's for a kitchen for students living in student housing and they're trying to convince their landlord as to why they think they need an improvement in the kitchen. So what I've done here, I'm just going to show you in this video the different types of presentation that I've made. Now what you've got to do is create a first draft. If we look through here, I'll just show you each of the slides very quickly. This is an unformatted presentation so as you can see in all of these basically what they're looking for in the draft presentation is the defaults. So the text as it would just normally appear and we've got very little in the way of actual formatting so as you can see the titles are very bland, the text is very bland, my action buttons are quite plain. Um, I've got a table here which is the standard table when you insert it and I've also got some basic bullet points in here too. Now, the whole point of this is to show that you can actually create a draft presentation in the design process and move it onto a final improved draft. Now, what I was talking about also is that you need to include the information that you've discovered from your research and from using the spreadsheet to actually include in your presentation, and that's vitally important. It must include that information. So as I said, I created a pie chart and I just literally copied the chart into my presentation. So what it does is it says to, in this case, I'm talking to my landlord and I'm saying, right, I think the kitchen needs to be improved. These are the suggestions I've come up with. I've worked, I've used a spreadsheet to work out the costs and here are the final costs. So that way they've got something they can make a decision from. So just to show you the difference between the draft presentation and the final draft, you can see that in the final draft I've used slightly different versions of things so I've got um, word art included I've also got borders around my images you can see that my navigation buttons are actually um, a lot more detailed and kind of stick into the theme of the presentation I've increased the size of the font um, and changed the font style also if we look throughout the presentation I've used things like bold fonts I've underlined my fonts which you call text format in here. I've changed the table so I've in, make, changed the thickness of the borders and applied borders to it. Also I've got customized bullet points here as opposed to the standard bullet points that we normally insert. And what I've done here is I've got borders with a dashed outline around each of my images and I've slightly rotated them just to give it a bit more of an interesting feel. Okay, you can also see that I've done this for the text. So remember, you can have a look at these presentations to see the difference. Other things that I've done is I've included a web link. So this is a hyperlink to the Argos website so that, that I could go onto the website if need be or the landlord could to see the actual information about the product that I've chosen. And as you can see, I've actually got a very consistent theme. So I've chosen a, a light blue color for my borders um, around my tables and images as you can see so they will be looking for a consistent theme we don't want to have one slide with a rainbow color maybe um, on one background and then the back next background will be green the next background will be plain you've got to kind of decide on your color scheme and stick to it throughout the slides and that also goes for your fonts as well try and keep them consistent so that's just a brief sort of look between the two presentations as to the formatted one and the unformatted presentation. 
So what I'm going to be doing in the next few videos is showing you a few skills which you might not have been aware of. Most of you should be able to create a PowerPoint presentation now. You've been doing it for many years throughout your school life. Um, and I'll be showing you maybe a few new skills that you might not have used before. So then, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to create the search log that we need to use as we did with the spreadsheets. However, this time it should be a bit easier for you as you've created one before. So that's what we'll be looking at in the next video.